So what made you think about doing this project, like this installation? Yeah, well, I, uh, you know, I first saw the space as kind of a, a long wall. I thought about, um, you know, how people used it as a circulation area. I mean, basically it's uh, a 70 foot wall along, you know, hallway that leads into a performance area. I wanted to do something that looked um, uh, maybe a little bit strange from far away um, when you first enter the center. And then as you get closer to it, you could both focus on maybe individual pieces within a series, um, uh, but also have a view kind of across the, the wall. I wanted to do something that was not a sculpture that maybe you walked around, but something that um, was a little bit three-dimensional. Um, and then I was, I've been doing a series of works that have to do with uh, landscape and with um, our views of a horizon. Um, and, uh, you know, when those are in a, a gallery situation, there's, um, I think there's kind of an invisible border between you and an artwork. Sometimes, you know, there's glass in front of it or a stanchion or something. But I like to play with that idea that maybe you could kind of get into a, a drawing. I've been making installations for a long time in which the viewer is kind of asked to participate or walk through it in some way. So I've been trying to flatten that idea out a little bit and uh, I've been doing drawings that are charcoal that kind of lure you in um, with all their kind of black brush strokes. Um, some people actually start touching them and walking on them. But here I wanted to kind of think not only about, you know, a, a flat surface that you could you know, that maybe was dark and that you could enter, but also maybe some kind of figurative um, element uh, to the piece. So what we see now is a kind of this dark, dark surface that's slightly reflective and these um, plaster, cast plaster pieces that are mounted uh, to the wall. Was it important that people participated, like students? Definitely. Um, I wanted to, you, I had an idea of, of uh, a general idea of what I wanted the piece to be, which is what this title of Event Horizon uh, was. That was something that kind of linked up with the series of pieces I've been making on a large scale. But knowing, uh, you know, this what what I wanted to be the situation here, that it almost is like a workshop atmosphere, that there's an open studio where I'm kind of constantly making things and people can kind of come in at any time and help. Um, or, you know, talk to me about the project or, um, you know, just watch. Uh, I wanted to, do, it, it kind of told me what kind of processes I wanted to use. Instead of, you know, maybe making a drawing that is all about my hand and, and you know, very rigid structure, what I did is kind of invent a process of casting into copper uh, flashing that there was always a lot of it going on. And so any kind of time that someone wanted to come in, they could uh, participate in the project. And, and it's kind of, you know, plasters, mixing plaster is kind of an easy thing to teach. Um, I think it's pretty enjoyable. And I think that once you start doing it, you, um, you know, as a student or as a first time plaster maker, you uh, can kind of really get into, you know, the, the process of, of mixing it. and. And in this work, you know, as you see, there's just a, there was a lot of these pieces. We started off with 40, 50 pound bags of plaster, so there, I needed help, you know, to kind of make it happen. I like to invent processes where there's a, a repetitive action within, because I think that there's something about that that really is conducive to, um, you know, focusing on the technical side of things, but then also having, you know, time to, you know, have a conversation, have a dialogue, either about the process or about the piece or just about, you know, what's happening in your life. So the project, I feel like looking at it, it went, it went pretty, pretty well. Um, there was always a moment um, where, you know, because of the processes and the materials I use that there's kind of a, a chaotic element to them. Um, some of that chaos kind of got tracked within Tabler Center. Um, but I think, uh, and then, and then, and when we got the pieces, uh, or when we had this kind of vocabulary of plaster kind of in front of us, you know, it became the, it came the question of how to put it on the wall. I had an idea for that, um, and I had a kind of a general diagram in my head about how to do that. But one thing that we discovered pretty quickly is that there were limits to how that plaster could go on the wall. 
um, you know, and we didn't have a lot of luck the first few two nights in putting it on the wall. It really was wanted to fall off. So it wasn't it wasn't as secure as we wanted it to be. So you know, the, um, Mackenzie and Patricia and I really um, spent uh, a little a lot of time troubleshooting. Um, I feel like the rest of the project was went pretty smoothly, um, though, and uh, uh, the, I think the the most exciting part of the, the project for me is that I've made was well first was being able to work with people here. I love uh, Stony Brook and the students were excellent. Um, and then you know in terms of the actual making, I hadn't seen the co the copper do what it's done for this project before. I was expecting um, uh, the colors of oxidation in the copper to be um, blue and, and rust, but you know on this version because of you know this way that I etched it, we got lots of different colors, and I think it really makes the piece um, you know even that you know much more more vibrant. Um, and I hope that the community at Tabler in Stony Brook um, uh, takes care of the piece and uh, and and enjoys it. Um, and I, I and in keeping with that, um, I wanted to definitely want to thank um, Dallas Bauman, who is the assistant vice president of campus residences, who was the one that um, brought me to Stony Brook, and to Jackie Reich, who is the uh, faculty director of ta of the Tabler Undergraduate College. Um, it's been really supportive of the project, and then um, my uh, Carl um, Wiltshire and staff at Tabler have been uh, usually my first and last contact every day, and have been very supportive and positive. Um, and then I've had uh, two really great um, assistants, uh, Mackenzie Subel and Patricia Arnado, who um, have been kind of with the project from the first week and really helped me a lot in these last two weeks. And, making and installing and troubleshooting. Uh, I couldn't have done it without them. And then kind of a big surprise for me was the um, Fine Arts Organization. That's a, a group on campus. Uh, I think mostly undergrads are, and some mostly art students. But uh, we've, we had two kind of long sessions in the studio and with the final piece. And uh, that's been really, uh, that group of, of students have been really great and really supportive. And, um, yeah, I'm excited for the piece, and I'm excited for all of you. Um, so, go forward, keep making things. Okay, thank That's you. It. Yeah, thank <laughs> you.